Hey everyone, it's Bree here, and today I have some guests. My children, my babies are helping me because of the quarantine. This is a great recipe to get your children involved. We're going to use some simple um, ingredients and make some non dairy, uh, no added sugar, cute banana breads. They're delicious, they're soft, and of course, they're healthy. So, the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to need three large ripe bananas. Three eggs if you're doing dairy, applesauce unsweetened if you're doing non-dairy, vanilla extract, cinnamon, of course baking powder, baking soda, pink Himalayan sea salt, and almond flour. I milled my own, but you can use store-bought, it doesn't matter. Nutmeg and chia seeds. Those last two are optional. Um, when I'm baking with my children, I pre-measure everything with my daughter, the oldest one, so that it makes it easier for the youngest one to participate as well. So, um, first you're going to have everybody wash their hands, of course, and um, peel your bananas and put them in a blender. Now, this, these are great um, motor skill fine-tuning for smaller children, even for the older, even for the older children. Um, most of the time, I cut up their fruit for them, um, but to get them to do it themselves, their their hands will get messy. It's super fun, super cute. Um, make sure they don't put banana peels in the blender like my three-year-old just did. Um, it's just a fun activity for them to get, you know, hands-on and sometimes a little messy and lick it off. <laughs> Now, if you're doing non-dairy, you're going to add three fourth cups of applesauce. If you're doing dairy, you're going to add three eggs. While I do eat eggs, and I do eat some dairy, I actually prefer the taste of applesauce for this recipe because remember, we're not adding any extra sugar outside of the natural sugar that's in the applesauce or in the bananas. So this is all about as much flavor and texture um, that you can get. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Watch how carefully your younger ones will try not to spill everything in their little containers. That's perfect for fine tuning those mortar seals. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. I got he's hitting it back to make sure he gets it all. These are great skills to teach children while they're young. To not make a mess, clean up as you go, and pre-measure everything so you don't forget. And we're going to add a full teaspoon, one teaspoon of baking soda. Then we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. And we're going to add a teaspoon of nutmeg. That was easy. Cleanup's easy. Now, um, you, for this, you could use a food processor, but I'll explain to you later why we use the blender. Um, this is my favorite blender from Aldi, by the way. Now you're going to blend all of these ingredients until smooth. You don't really have to worry about over blending, but it should only take you less than two minutes. I just cranked up the speed just a little bit and then cranked down the speed. You wanna blend until everything is completely smooth. Now you're gonna start adding your three cups of almond flour, about a cup at a time. You could do it all at once, but you'll be scraping the sides a lot more and it might take a little bit longer. You don't want to over mix this because remember you're still making a batter like a braid. You don't want it to be like smoothie 
um, like a pie or anything. So it's still going to be pretty thick. So I pulsed it for the rest of the way. Scrape, pulse, scrape, pulse. Shake it up, pulse. I just want to add though that this was one of our homeschooling activities for the day. This is a life skill, how to cook and how to prepare food for yourself. Um, so yeah, remember, do, do what you can while you're home. It doesn't always have to be like a written out lesson. So now that you have made your batter, again, it should be smooth but still thick and lumpy. You don't want runny <laughs> banana bread batter. I'm going to transfer it into this bowl because I'm going to use it as an activity for the children to scoop into the molds. But um, if it's just you, you could transfer this right to your molds. Um, we're using a silicone baking pan. I love baking in silicone. Easier cleanup. Um, no mess, no fuss. And these little silicone compartments. Again, this is a great tool. All of, you know, even teenagers need to fine tune how to, you know, not make a mess while they're baking, how to clean up after themselves. Um, so once you put everything in your mold, you're going to flatten the mold, kind of shake it or whatever, even if you're using a tin mold, shake it really well and to get those air bubbles out and flatten everything. And then you can sprinkle your chia, chia seeds on top. Bake them at 350 for 25 minutes. If you like a super firm bread, I would bake it for 30. But my children like soft banana bread, so bake it at 25 and you're all done. Enjoy guys. Let me know how you like them. This is just a base. You can always tweak it as you go. Uh, and as always, peace, love, and light. Thanks for watching. Bye.